Greetings and welcome to Let's Build a Zoo. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, I would like to thank the developers for giving me a key to play this game. So I wasn't actually going to record this game because even though I enjoyed the demo immensely, like I loved it and I couldn't wait for it to come out, I was given the opportunity to play the game before it released and I was really disappointed because a lot of the things that we enjoyed about the game, like the mixing of animals, was so horribly grindy that I just had to write a note to the developers and say, you know, this is kind of the thing I really don't like. <clears throat> but it does seem like they've taken that kind of feedback um, into consideration from the community um, and they've changed things. They've, they've made a lot of changes, only five genomes per animal instead of 10 to use the CRISPR. Uh, animal breeding has been shortened as well. So I'm hoping that makes for a much more fun game, but we're gonna find out, we're gonna see. I haven't actually played the game in the new version, though I have spent many hours in the, uh, the release version. So this is a hot fix of the release to change those items. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I would love to see like a new game button here because you have to do load game and then to put it in a new slot. <clears throat> now we have uh, some, you know, various uh, skin tones here and haircut styles. I'll just go ahead and pick this one to be our zookeeper. Our zoo is going to be called Skyland, of course. Because we, we love skies. And uh, if you hear excess meows, my Emma is here and feeling quite wild. Okay, so we have Kathleen the investor. And she gives us kind of these uh, tasks to do so that we can progress our zoo. So we need to select the management office. This is this is a big task here. Yay! Okay, <laughs> and then we, we, we get... Um, various goals and we're rewarded for them and they are very important that you do them because they give you money lots and lots of money uh, that you're going to need to build your zoo and they also teach you how to play the game so really important to do that now one thing that I don't like about the game and you're going to see this uh, in a little bit as well is that you cannot choose the ground area uh, that you start in as in every time you buy a piece of land it's always going to be desert and the fix for that is annoying as um, as as annoying things are. Uh, one thing I love about this game compared to other games um, is the ability to make these amazing enclosures. Like it's so easy to just drag the corners around. It's fantastic. <clears throat> Zoo Tycoon used to be a bit more annoying with that, and I love this uh, ability here. So. Timbo, the Australian zookeeper. Good day, I have a gift for you. Visit me in my zoo and I can tell you about it. Just find the Australian zoo on the world map. So now we're introduced to another segment of things, which is the world map. And we're gonna visit these zoos over time and they will trade us animals for bred animals. I mean, not, not animals made out of bread. <laughs> animals that have bred into different genomes. So we're, we're, we're gonna get these two rabbits here. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to return to our zoo and we're immediately prompted to put them into the enclosure. So we're going to put them there. Oh my, Emma, can you, can you refrain please? Hold on one second. Cat? Okay, here, here, look. I'll open up your little bed. There you go. She's being a bit wild and knocking things off my desk. Okay, so, um, all right. So Kathleen is, says open the zoo. All right, so here we go. We can open the zoo. All right, and we have our newspaper. It's usually pretty funny to read. I'm gonna not read them in this playthrough because I feel like um, I wanna kind of cover other things in a, in a faster manner. So here we go. It's very cool. <clears throat> I like the, the, the gr I love the graphics in this game. I absolutely adore the pixel animals. It's so cute. All right, so we have rabbits. And they, <laughs> they say honk. <laughs> so we can see people coming into the zoo paying uh, for entry. And we kind of, I would like to build some stuff for them. So one thing that uh, we need to build is a storeroom. We're actually going to get a quest for that later. I wish that quest came earlier. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just build this. Oh, okay, sure. That's fine. Now, one thing I don't like is we can't hire wh whomever we want. We have to have the first person that shows up. And this person has a horrible, horrible worth work ethic, which is not good. I like to do um, to hire people with a high work ethic and high energy. That really makes a difference. So we're going to hire this person because we don't have any choice. But anyway, the storeroom is there so that the animals can uh, be fed. 
Uh, now we have Isaac who wants to give us a research grant. So we're going to build a research hub and make sure that we can get new technologies. So this game really takes a lot of inspiration from Zoo Tycoon, but also interestingly enough from Forager. So here's our research grant. Go to hire again. We're given no choice on who to hire there, but we can now click on our research hub. Uh, and this is where we have the different uh, things that we can unlock. So what I do want to go for, let's go for, uh, er, let's do, let's do the garden benches. Okay. So, and they talk about how to get the previews. One thing I really like about this compared to the forager grid is that you do see key items on the grid. So you know where to go to get certain things. Now there is like a kind of a good good person, evil person dynamic in this game. Anything purple, like the purple skull here, morality requirement, uh, means it's kind of an evil action. Whereas this one, the gold and the little uh, plant that has a heart flower, those are for the good guys. And because it's animals, I, I love animals. Like, I love animals. They're wonderful. And we're going to be good to our animals. We're not going to be bad to them. So um, even in a zoo game, yes. <laughs> I know you probably want to see evil KOS, but... Evil KOS doesn't exist. Anyway, uh, so we're going to just earn research points passively. We don't have to do much. Later, we can increase this. Oh, oh, and one more thing about the research hub that I absolutely love is you can find things. Like if you want shops, it will highlight where shops are on this map. So you have an idea. You don't know what they are, but you have an idea of where to go. Oh, my God, this cat is just Emma. Please refrain. Please refrain here. I'm going to put the cat bed down on the floor. Yes. Okay. You can play down there. Good. Good. A cat closed the little wool bed and then, yeah. So anyway, benches, restrooms, bins, lamp posts, uh, signboards, ATMs, decorations. So, and one of these things, the, 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 the interesting thing about this is we have bonuses. Like if you unlock three more tree packs, you increase the decoration score of trees by 5%. And similar with other things, we have the balls, each um, increase the amount of enrichment each item gives by 5%. Really nice, like little bonuses, increase speed of regen for bench by 40%. So there are like it's kind of like an interesting little mini game almost to get the things that you want. It's a big research tree, as you can see, uh, and it's it's great. I really like this feature of the game. So, uh, all right. So we're back in our zoo here. So we're going to build some floor tiles, right? So the thing, I, oh God, I hate this part. Um, I really hate this part. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll get to the part I hate in a second, and I hope this is changed. Please, I beg for this to be changed. The only way to, well, you know what? Let's check key bindings. And by the way, you can change your key bindings, which I think it's great. Oh, there's a floor brush size. Okay, maybe we don't hate this. Okay, this is interesting. This is not said as far as I can tell in the tutorial. Let's see. Uh, oh, God. Uh-huh. You know what? I'm going to change the controls because I don't have an equal sign that is not on a shift button. So we're going to do, let's see, we're going to change that to uh, plus and minus on the, no, not that one. No, on the numpad. Okay. So confirm. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to meow about this anymore. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's get our brushes because this annoyed the fuzz off of me, as in I had no fuzz anymore. Still, though, painting the roses red is a bit... Oh, and that's annoying as as, um, <clears throat> as things as well. Uh, the idea that you have to... Like, if you make a mistake and just, like, you can't just smush around because that will just erase everything. No, 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 no. You have to be exact. And it's like, oh, God, please don't do this to us. Okay, and I'm keeping the mouse button held. It's really stressful for my hand to do that. Um, and it looks like it's not exact here. Because, like, I don't know. This this part isn't getting organized. Hello? Why? All right, minus then. We can do this then, I guess. Maybe it's because it's over the enclosure. I don't know. But it's not liking that lamppost either. There we go. So it's, it's a bit, a bit odd. All right. Anyway, let's go to our bricks. I'm really glad that they added that brush size thing because that really was like a big, like, oh my God, why is this this way? So I'm going to make the path three wide. 
because I feel like that. Oh, geez, I hate that. The uh, like the 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 um, that it reverts it to the tile underneath if you're a little bit off. And I tend to just kind of scribble stuff anyway. So it's like, no, help. Okay, so we have things. Let's find out what we're supposed to do next. Okay, apparently nothing. Okay, we do need to get a shop, it looks like. And, oh, we need to add water and enri enrichment for our animals. I forgot about that. So we're going to add water. Now, water is kind of an interesting thing. You have to have water pumps in range. You see the AOE of this circle? It has to be in range of your water tank for your animals. So what we want to do is move this structure so that it covers that water thingy. So we'll just put it right in the center there. And we'll have some other animal enclosures around here that will benefit from that. Oh, I missed a spot. Dang it. Dang it. Why? But instead of having to paint everything, I would love an option like at the gate to say, hey, can you make all new tiles grass or make all new tiles whatever, dirt or something? Because this is grass. It's nice. So yeah, it's like, okay. Um, all right, so we need to put in probably some uh, stuff. We need a restroom for sure. But I would like to put in a couple of shops right, right in front of people's faces. When they come in, they know they can shop. Okay, we have a good shopkeeper there. That's cool. We'll put in a hot dog stand. We'll hire this person. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and then maybe we'll take these little vending machines on the side here. There we go. Wait, was that a snack or a cola? I can't even see. This is a snack. Okay, so I want to do the cola vendor. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then I'll put in a, a restroom here as well. Now we also def... Oh, hello. Go away. We cannot afford it. Oh, no. No. Help. Okay, we need another quest because the quests at the beginning are like a huge, huge monetary injection for your, um, yeah, for, oh, we forgot to do the enrichment as well. Okay, let's add an enrichment object, which is a small ball. There you go, little bunnies. <clears throat> and <clears throat> with the shops, you can also adjust how how you want to run them. So the uh, this hot dog shop has a seasoning of MSG. And of course, we're told here, nothing mass bad tasting food quite like MSG. It also contributes to thirst. So if we put the MSG up high, it's going to make people go and get drinks more often. So if we put in like, I don't know, you can put in 100%, but I'm going to put in, I don't know, maybe 20%, make a, make a little bit of money. Sure. And... Um, so yeah, we have popularity here. We have the sell price cost. We have also the, the quality of the meat here. You can adjust that up and down uh, and it changes the cost accordingly and also our profit accordingly. And we can apply that to all. This is a really nice feature here. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. I kind of want people to, to enjoy their experience. The gift shop has a similar kind of slider here, plastic versus enamel. Uh, they don't add MSG to pins, thankfully. Uh, but then we have these things as well. Let's do the salt up to 20% so we sell more drinks. That's nice and evil of us. Wait, what, are we just supposed to eat the evil? Okay, so let's see. We can maximize profits by farming your own ingredients for this product. Use farm processor to produce a fructose. Yay, high fructose corn syrup. Hooray. All right, so this helps maximize profits by getting your visitors to move around the zoo at faster speeds. In some cases, it may also lead to heart attacks and other side effects. Boy, that sounds great. You know, want people to come over and have a heart attack. Hooray. So I think we can probably just do like 10% caffeine. I don't want to like make people <laughs> completely ill. So anyway, that is that. And we have finished our first day. So here we see our daily profits. Now keep in mind, and this is something that I kind of don't like about the game. It doesn't take into account your uh, people's salaries. So keep in mind that you're going to have to pay their salaries at the end of the week, not each day. So this profit only looks at what happened, like the income that you got and then uh, any like expenses that like you bought food for the animals or whatever. So yeah, but we also are told that we attracted 24 people, but four people could not fit in our bus. And one people, one person felt that the ticket price was too expensive. So it kind of gives us an overview of things. So we need 25 visitors. 
Uh, all right, so we can do the storeroom. We already finished that task. I don't like my animals to starve. Uh, and we want to hire a janitor from the ticket office to make sure that we have um, people picking up the litter. Now, one thing I want to start off with is we go to the storeroom and we can adjust the food of our rabbits. So we can see that they're um, uh, satisfied as in they feel full, but their nutrition is absolutely horrendous. So that's because they're eating straw. They're not eating a balanced diet. So what I usually do is I go kind of to the bottom with this um, or, or go a little bit, but you see how little nutrition this is giving them? Let's see, let's see. I like to go, okay, just go one until it's like completely filled, until it go, doesn't go anymore. Then we do the next ingredient, whoops. Uh, this is a bit tedious, but I feel it's much better for our animals. So let's see. Carrots are much liked by rabbits. So we'll get that going. And then the last bit is going to be... Oh, we're missing on something here. Hold on. Let's see. I like to do the minimum of these guys. Is it this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we were a little bit down on straw. Let's see. Make sure that you look at up the thing up here, underfed versus satisfied. That's good. So now we go back and then we quick order the food for the animals. So we can order enough for seven days. That is the maximum amount. And I have no idea how to like, if there is a way to get automatic deliveries, like where you don't have to click the button every week, um, because it sometimes I forget and I don't know why there's not an automatic order thing for this but anyway that might be in the research that I haven't gotten to I don't know so let's see we're gonna look at um we're gonna look at the floor tiles go ahead and just make a couple of floors here down to the research place and this is a little pathway that we're gonna oh no 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 oh Eh, okay, I hate when I do that. I Sometimes I right-click to get out of the menus. I wish that... So right-click is escape in a lot of games. And it feels like in this game it should be. But escape does uh, clear your hand of the items. I just got to get used to it. All right, so park staff. <clears throat> we're going to search for a janitor right now. Uh, let's recruit somebody. Okay, so let's see. We're going to look... I like to look on social media as well. It does uh, up the cost per day, but we have more people applying for the job. All right, so here food is delivered right outside the gate and people can look and stuff. Okay, so our real welfare report happened. I completely forgot to look at the, uh, the officer there in charge. Um, so anyway, but we... We, we got a C report that that tells us we need to improve. Probably was after, oh, this is the animal welfare um, officer here. But we probably didn't get the food changed fast enough. I should have put it the day before, but it doesn't really matter. It's okay. They have everything they need for now. So we're looking for 25 visitors and a janitor. I would like to get a, a giraffe bin. Love giraffe bins. Hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and put these kind of in the middle of the walkway. Uh, so they cover a specific area, as you see. Go ahead and put another one there. And that area can be extended by doing the research and stuff and unlocking things. So let's go ahead and look at our research. We have a few points to spend. We can get a shelter pack. Um, what I want to look is, is enclosure items because there's a special, special item that I want. I think it might be up this way. Yay, it's the trampoline. I love the trampoline. It's like the best thing, the cutest item in any game ever. You will see. You'll, you'll see. It, you will be in love with this. It's adorable. So anyway, we're going to check out our totals here shortly. All right, we did get task complete here. Let's finish this task. We got $1,500, which is great. But people are like, hey, I've seen everything. This isn't that interesting. So yeah, tight, hard times. So we need four points for a trampoline. And that will make our happy our our uh, animals happier. We have a, a notification for janitors. We got four applicants. That's fantastic. Okay, so one of the things that I don't like about this game there's kind of like a hidden or mini game where these people are new because apparently we're collecting skin colors like a human zoo. 
And basically, we're told to judge people by their appearance rather than their abilities, which I absolutely hate that. I feel like it's racial profiling. And I want to judge them by their ability to do the job. So we do have a rating here, and that seems to be based mostly on experience. So if we look at the experience level, this person is experience level 12. Um, but I like to look at the work ethic and energy because they can, ex they can improve their experience. They can learn on the job. So that's not a problem. Rupert seems to have really good worth it, work ethic and energy. So we'll keep them in mind. Let's see. This person has worse work ethic. Oh my gosh. Wow. Edmundo. Holy fuzzy cats. Um, very low politeness, but that's okay. I think this might be our person. Oh my gosh. We have many things, many new tasks. Don't interrupt me game. Okay. So Edmundo is going to be our candidate. So I'm going to go ahead and hire Edmundo. No, no. Oh no. I didn't want to close it. No. Oh, okay. I don't know if I could have changed that or not, but I want to, um, we had another good candidate that I wanted to hire. Oh, well, it's okay. We'll be fine. All right. Let's look at our new tasks here. I'm going to pause the game. So we hired the janitor. There we go. Reward $200. Hooray. So we need a hundred visitors and then we need to get five animals. So one of the things we can do to get these animals, there's two ways. Um, well, one of them is breeding, of course, but the other is we can click on the zoos and find out what they want. So these will trade a mysterious snake for some hyenas. Now, I have no idea how to get a snake yet. So let's look. We have the London Zoo who will trade rabbits, a special rabbit for geese. Okay. All right. That's interesting. So if we breed a specific rabbit and this is our breeding chart, what we've bred so far, we haven't done much. Uh, we can get geese. So that's cool. Um, but there's a, another thing here, which is an animal shelter, which I love this. We have, um, wow, we have new rabbits. So the new thing here also indicates the breed like the humans. Um, <laughs> and if we get these animals, uh, we're going to add them to our genome of stuff. So the brown rabbit is, I know from experience, it's a combination of two white rabbits. So we can adopt this one and increase our uh, animal stock, or we can wait for the white rabbits to mate and produce a brown one. Um, but we also have a pig, which is a brand new animal, which I wanted, I want to make a container for. Well, oh wait, that didn't sound right. Um, anyway, but it does this the habitat. So what I want to do before I adopt these animals, actually, I could rescue this one and this one and we're going to put them in the habitat that we've already made so you put, put them in here we are at 8 of 22 and that is a space requirement that is not the number of animals because we clearly don't have eight rabbits in there yet so yeah uh all right so what i want to do is we also want to do i want to continue making this uh walkway here and then Oh, no game. So frustrating that. Uh, okay. I hate that like paint over thing. Uh, anyway, I want to make uh, a new enclosure. So let's do that. Let's make, um, let's see. We can also move this, oopsie, excuse me. This thing we can move this to be, maybe we put it here or out here somewhere. Oh, we could actually could put this down here or maybe in the middle here. You know what? Let's put this in the middle because that's not going to hurt. We could put buildings on the left as well. It's fine. Yeah. When we get more land. Okay. That's cool. So we're going to do that there. Um, and then I'm going to save this entire area. We're going to put a bunch of animals up here. So let's make a new grass enclosure. Uh, and this is going to be for our pigs. I don't know how much space they need. It does say, I believe. Uh, all right. So there's our entrance. And let's, let's make sure they have enough stuff in here. Let's make water, water basin for them. And then we need, oh, let's get a trampoline. Let's go. Let's go. Yay. Click it. Now that blinding white flash, I wish we could turn that off as well because it really does a number on my migraines. It's very bad for me, but I'll try to close my eyes when that happens. Anyway, we can put in a trampoline and the animals can get to it as you can see. So we're going to put in a ball as well. Okay, and I think we're ready. Uh, I think that's all we need right now. Yeah, get animals. All right, so they go to the world map instantly, which is nice. Let's grab this pig. Let's take the pig. So we can't see a lot about these animals here, but we're just going to go ahead and put the pig in here. Space used 20 of 23. Wow, that's, 
that's not ideal. I want to edit this enclosure because I want to make a uh, change shape. Okay, so let's let's just do this and make it a lot bigger. Yeah, let's just do that. That's fine. And we'll put the gate here. Yep. Because they obviously need a lot more room than the rabbits. Okay, so that's good. Oh, whoops. Um, go. There we go. Okay, and then we have these events. Lost puppy. A man has lost his best friend. The animal keeper keeper told me that we have found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could call the number on its collar and tell its owner. Or we can use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand this fledgling zoo. Why don't we dress the dog up as a lion and use it to amaze your visitors? Right, so this is our first opportunity to earn evil points or earn um, goody two-shoes points and we're just gonna be good. So then we know about our choices mattering. All right, so we, we yeah, return the lost, like you don't call the number, hello? I'm just like, huh? Okay, so one thing that we have, uh, oh well, you know what? Let's, let's put in a, I wanna add an object. I'm going to put in a trampoline. I love the trampoline. Best object ever in any game ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Okay, let's just... I'm going to take off this. This annoys me a bit. Hello. There we go. I guess we use this to erase. Or not. We can't erase it from here. What? Uh, this looks like a... I think this is a bug. Because it doesn't let me do this, but I clearly went over the edge here. I don't know what the heck the, heck the deal is with that. Oh, well. <laughs> it's going to have to be sloppy, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so not good. Anyway, um, so we have Morality 5 right now. Park rating is 91. People are going to enjoy uh, looking at different animals and stuff. I uh, wish there was more to do. They want to do stuff. Um so one of the things that we can look at here is the decoration score and that's kind of important to a degree so our decoration score is 7.3 and efficiency is 7.3 as you can see it is this square and it seems to be by square how much your decoration matters to ignore the sloppy painting there um and the way the decoration score works it seems to reward unique items so instead of planting a gorgeous huge garden of these tulips which i love this this thing it's my favorite thing in the game you're encouraged to plant one of each thing which kind of looks horrible um yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> it's just bad so anyway you are encouraged to do one of each thing i don't like that at all i like having big flower beds of stuff but yeah, not really something that is encouraged, apparently. So let's see, lilacs. Uh, but yeah, we would have to do like some lilacs, magnolias. I don't get this magnolia thing. Magnolia is a tree. It's not a like a, it's not this. No, it's not a like a flower like that. It's a tree. It's a tree with flowers. So I think that might have gone wrong a tiny bit there. But anyway, because I'm from the south where we have magnolia trees and they don't look like that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, we have ferns. These are the beginning decorations that we have. And um, yeah, but we can get some more, of course, through research. Now, uh, we're waiting for the visitors and the animals and stuff. Uh, do we have any more new animals? Let's look. Nope. Uh, we have the rabbit, but the other one is coming. So we're just going to kind of fast forward here and get to the end. Look at these rabbits. Oh, did you see that bouncing? That is like the best thing. I always like to share whenever um, <laughs> whenever the devs had a, had a gif of this in the Discord. I'm like, yay, this is great. Oh, they had a miniature rabbit. Look at this. They had a baby. Oh, tradable variant. Okay, so you have an animal in your zoo that you can trade with another zoo. See that baby, cute, cute, cute. Okay, we're gonna wait till our arrival comes though, 20 hours. It does tell you, or how many minutes, I guess. Um, so if we look at the world map, we can see that the London Zoo is like, hey, we'll take your little baby rabbit for some geese. So that means we should build a goose habitat. Um, here we have new stuff. We don't have a brown pig. So I'm going to buy this brown pig or rescue it, I should say, for $24. And we'll put this in the pen. There we go. Yay. Go. Okay. 
So then, uh, let's build a goose habitat. Uh, oh, this is, looks really strange there. Did that mess up the the grass? I don't know what what the heck happened there. It looks very strange. Because I know I, I did this entire area. This area doesn't want to be done. Nigh. Okay. Let's get that over there as well. Now then, let's put in a new enclosure. So this is for the geese. So we'll make it, they don't need a ton of, oh, they want us to buy land now. All right. We don't need a ton. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Great. Uh, we don't need a ton of space for the geese. Just a little bit, but there are many geese variations. So we're just going to kind of go with what we get. All right. So let's just open up, add objects here. Let's get our water. Always make sure it's in range. That's really important. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move that water basin. Can I er, here move some things in the, <laughs> this UI are just so clunky and it's like, I don't know exactly how to fix it, but it's like, it takes like 10 clicks to do something where it should be easy. Like I would love to click on this thing and move it, but I can't, I have to do view objects, click this, then move. It's like, why help us? Anyway, let's get, uh, Add objects, enrichment, trampoline. We'll put this trampoline here. Go, oh, okay. And a ball, eight. Okay, so there we go. There's our goose enclosure. Uh, so we can also buy land on either side right now. I think I wanna buy, I wanna buy two actually, but every piece of land costs more. So I'm gonna click this again. It's like, okay, we can't just click it and buy. You have to click the buy land and then it's like another box. It feels really weird. Uh, all right, so we have this new area, which again, painting the roses red. It's just like, oh, please, please help. No, why? <laughs> the why is real. Uh, we wonder, we wonder why. Oh, look, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, that's this painting thing is annoying, is very annoying. So yeah, I would love to see a thing in the menu where it's like new plots are grass or something. Considering that grass costs zero, it doesn't cost anything. Like it's not, I'm not trying to like cheat the system on money. I'm just trying to like, you know, grass doesn't cost anything. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this does cost some money. Uh, so I'm gonna refrain from doing too much of that. So we got our thing so now we can do our task hooray finish finish reward a thousand monies hooray so now we have many rabbits in here it might be time to hire another zookeeper because we're gonna have many animals so uh they have already i think we're, we will also want to edit this pen a little bit so we're going to change the shape we're going to start here go here down just make it a tiny bit bigger for them yeah there we go Okay, and gate here. Oh, there, okay. That was interesting. And and see when it refreshes, it completely changed to dirt again. I'm not gonna repaint that. I'm just gonna be like, nope, forget it. Okay, so there they have a little bit more space. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go here. And all right, so we have two animals. We wanna add animals. There's a pen without animals, okay. One thing that I would love to see is that these menus could be on the screen at the same time because you have to click each, then back, then each. It's it's like, why? Why is this that way? It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh, so and did I mention I'm just going to say everything that I like and dislike about this game? <laughs> uh, all right, let's go back to our world map and get some geese. So we want to go here. We have the brown rabbit to trade. So let's view this trade. So we can pick which animal we trade and we see some various things about them. We have age one and we have age two. Uh, it doesn't usually really matter whether they are female or male since the green line kind of, or the, so there's a baby uh, zone, which is the light green. Then the medium green is their maturity stage where they can uh, have children. I believe that the males are also fertile during this stage and not fertile during the elder stage of their life, which is kind of the dark part of that bar. So I usually pick ones that are younger. So the other thing is you also wanna have a mix of males and females in your uh, pen. 
So alas, we cannot click on these to see what they are, <laughs> which is kind of sad. It's very annoying. Um, but there is an opportunity for us to breed the brown rabbit. And I'm thinking maybe that's a good thing to do instead of trading it off right away. So what we can do is get another uh, item. Let's go to the research hub here. We want to go to the nursery. So let's go ahead and get the desert enclosure that costs one point. That's really nice. We can have desert animals now. And let's get the breeding of the nursery. That unlocks on the side deco pack, animal statues, plants, um, more plants, a cotton candy stall. That's nice. I do want to get to these wind mines. They're great. So we might go up through the slushy shop to go and get the wind mines uh, so that we can have those. There's a mini fountain. We can, can we unlock this? I guess we could get this one. Yeah, we might as well unlock this. Okay, so uh, it might be cheaper. So this is three, this is five to get to the wind mines. Yeah, it's probably cheaper there. Uh, all right, so yeah, we have we have things happening. This is good. All the things are good. So I'm I think what I want to do is I want to build some nurseries, or at least one. Oh, okay, okay. Four people could not fit on the buses. That's important to note. Okay, and we can create work zones. Ah, yes, we need to hire a new zookeeper, or a uh, what do they call them? A shopkeeper person thingy thingy. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at a couple of different things. I think we have one bad shopkeeper. I can't remember. Anyway, we should look at these people again and see if they're any good. So animal keepers, let's, uh, we can look at Dominic. Dominic has a really bad work ethic. So I kind of want to hire at least two new people. So let's recruit. We're going to go here, social media, apply. Okay. I also want to look at janitors because it's nice to have more than one janitor. Okay, this is our, Edmundo's our really great janitor. Oopsies. Uh, no, I always miss this top part of the tab here. It's like, oh God. I, it, I feel like, again, I feel like it's really clunky, this interface. Um, there's a lot of information to be uh, communicated to the player, but I still feel like there's too many clicks on many things. All right, so let's look at our researcher and we'll just check uh, on these people. Again, work ethic is so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit a new, let's see, let's just do social media, apply changes, go back. And our shop people, let's see, we have two of these people. Let's see, Dominga. Dominga's great. Okay. Uh, so now we go back. Go look here. Branch average, all branch average. All right, Wilfred is also great. Okay, we're going to keep all of our employees. That's great. So here we go. Let's go. Let's move. Oh, yeah. And you know what we forgot? New applicants. Okay, we got some new applicants. This is kind of great. Let's um, get some benches out here. Okay, and our nursery. We need a nursery as well. I think what I want to do with the nurseries, I definitely want to have several of them in a spot in a row. Can I put one here? Oh, yeah, I can. Definitely. Uh, again, you can't choose who you hire. Uh, but the nurseries are kind of kind of cool. You can breed your animals. So let's click on this and look at the breeding. So we can pick a breeding pair and it shows us what we have available to breed. So if we click on the pigs, we see where they fall in the particular breeding uh, arrangements. And this will be clear with the rabbits, I think. So here we have the ability to breed um, this one. So here we have a new possibility. So if we breed these two brown rabbits, we could get a new something. And this is, does it tell us? It should tell us breeding experience. Okay, no, it does not say. Okay, and it, but it does show us where these guys fall in here. So I don't, does it say where? Okay, 37%. We have a 37% chance of getting this new animal. So we're gonna confirm this. Your animal's already pregnant, oh my. Okay, so we're gonna leave that, I guess. We're gonna try this one instead. Different, uh, different animals. Okay, and we're told they're not pregnant yet. So that's good. So 
right now we don't have another pair. You can, well, actually, we can't check. No, we don't have anything that says new on here. Okay, so that's fine. So this is a good thing. We, we like this, this is happy, and we're gonna get that going. So let's put in these things here. I'm gonna put in another nursery here, I think, and kind of cover up a little bit of that walkway, but it's gonna be fine. We could always move them later if we want to. Now I wanna put in some benches so that our people don't get tired, uh, or at least they can relieve their tiredness. So let's put in some of those so that they can look at the animals and enjoy them and stuff. There we go. Okay, very nice. So it may be advantageous to you to not trade animals immediately. However, there is something to be said for doing so because you will also, if we get those geese, we will get geese. So I'm kind of tempted. I'm like, uh, can we trade? We have this animal that's available. So the animals that are in the nursery are actually in the nursery. So let's go ahead and select Waddles the rabbit. Okay, rabbit, sorry. Oh, pregnant, yes, fertile, yes. No, you know what? We're gonna leave the rabbit. We're gonna see what animals they generate. Okay, so there's a VIP in our zoo. They will visit our zoo and you'll be able to interact with them and uh, by locating them and speaking with them. Okay, here is the VIP. Hello. Okay, so, oh, they're a black market dealer. Well then, okay. So if we buy animals, they're from questionable sources, which is evil. We can sell our animals to them and they're probably gonna turn them into like meat. Um, and then we're gonna report them to the police. Yep, sorry, bye-bye. Yep, you're not welcome here. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> done, done, there we go. All right, things are going on. Oh, we also need to adjust the food for the pigs. So let's look at the storeroom um, and see. Let's see, let's choose the chow. So we're gonna put this down. Okay. Okay, eh, eh. okay, root vegetables. I like this opportunity. I mean, obviously it costs more per day to feed them, but um, it's okay because we take care of our animals. Okay, underfed, satisfied, boom. Okay, so let's buy food. It's $100. I forgot to look at the before and after cost. We'll look at that when we get a new breed of animals. Okay, very nice. So uh, one thing that you should know about the shops and stuff is in the early game, they really aren't that important because they don't earn a lot of money. So when we get to Tomorrowland, I wanna show you the financial report of things. Okay, oh, we got plenty of applicants. Let's look at our, our applicants real quick. So we have four janitors, let's uh, view them. So we have Chance, again, looking for work ethic and energy. Oh God, Marlene, no, help, okay. Reagan is pretty good. Okay, Reagan and uh, Rocio are, or Rocio maybe? Rocio are pretty good. They um, This one has less politeness. This person has less politeness. Let's go and get these two then. Hire. Would you like to close? No. Uh, I want to hire both of these people. So we're going to hire you as well. And then we're going to close this. Janitor. Then we close. Okay. Yes, no, huh? You have changes that, oh, apply, okay, God. I, I'm used to things like not having a, com, like a confirm button with so much of uh, our regular kind of stuff. You know, just dealing with regular pro programs online and stuff like that, it's just like, ugh. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have applicants for, who are these people? I don't even know who they are. Uh, no vacancies. Uh, what are we looking for? Researcher. So this is one thing I really don't like. Um, you can't see the applicants, uh, anything. You can't see if they have politeness or whatever until you actually fire your current researcher. And I don't get that. Like, how is that a thing? Uh, because maybe they're, they're worse than Sierra. I don't know. All right, Sierra, we're going to fire you. Sorry. Bye. Yes, you fire them and then you get an opportunity to 
uh, pay their owed wages, uh, severance package. I'm going to just do pay owed uh, because we didn't get any choice in hiring them. So nope, sorry. Okay, back to researchers. Let's look at our people. Work ethic, yeah, that's better. Okay, this one is worse. So let's do Danny. So hire you. Yes, we're going to close the position because we only have one researcher position. It's good enough. Good enough. Not perfect score, but good enough. All right, so that's fine. Let's see the other one. We have animal keepers. So we have three applicants here for animal keepers. Uh, let's view their their stuff here. Work ethic is low on Alton. Let's see. Arlie is ish. Okay. Wow. They're both. They're not great. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just going to uh, dismiss all of them and keep on going. All right. I'm going to keep on advertising for that position. All righty. So here we are. We are doing pretty okay. We're going to look at, so if we look at our money, we can see our income. And as you see, the food shop, $22, $3, $7 is almost nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, especially when you compare it to like getting $15 from a, qu or 1500 monies. Oh, how do I get out of this window? Go away. Shoo. Okay. Yeah, escape wouldn't get me out of there. That was, or does it? Hold on. No, it doesn't. Escape does not get you out of this. Uh, so it's especially when you compare it to the grants that are like $1,500. So I would advise like in early game, don't go for slushy shops and all this kind of stuff. It's really not necessary at all. Okay, let's keep on looking at what we have here. I think we're going to go, we can go for the bin. We'll save some points getting to this because I know that the turbine I think is like 10 points yeah it's 10 uh, so and we need uh, five morality to use it or to build it so that's going to be an important thing when we get to it so oh wow okay so now we have these little symbols that are like people standing in line so it looks like people really want to buy some stuff so these this person is in line as well uh, they're in line for the gift shop which is I find this a really strange thing to be honest like a tiny gift shop, people are, are already standing in line, but it doesn't make a lot of money. So it seems like they go to certain places and they just, you know, hang out there the whole time. But anyway, it's okay. Hopefully we're going to get stuff going. All right, so we have our 100 visitors. Hooray, $1,500. Again, $3 from the soda machine. <laughs> so, yeah, not ideal there. Okay, let's keep on going. They've seen everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. But let's see, new applicant for an animal keeper. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here with this. Oh my gosh, four applicants. Let's see, this should be good, I hope. So we have Laura, nope. You, nope. I'm just looking at your stats, folks. Nope. Oh my God. Oh my, what is wrong with these people? They have no work ethic, it's horrible. Dudes, come on. But we want to make sure that the animals are getting fed and there's no poop in the cages and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty important. So it looks like one of these animals is... Okay, what do we got here? Time to expand. All right, donate to this cause. All right, we're just going to go ahead and give them money. Here you go. All right, yay. Uh, all right, let's go. We don't know why we're donating. Well, I didn't read why, but I'm sure there's a reason. So one of the funny things about the nursery that I don't like is that it i don't think they do this in real zoos like if the pair is pregnant they keep them together still and i th i thought well they would release the father back into there because he doesn't need to be there though maybe they're keeping them for company but why wouldn't maybe they would release both of them back into the wild i don't know but they are locked up in this whole thing for several days so there is a tech by the way to in to decrease the pregnancy time and that is uh, in the tech tree. And I believe, let's see, if we go to the research thing, it's kind of down in this area. It's down to the right, if I remember correctly, to reduce the, the number of pregnancy days and that kind of thing. So looks like our animal keeper has too many things to do. We really need another one, which I find that a bit odd. We only have two cages and not that many animals, and it doesn't look like one animal keeper is enough. Okay, so we have a new applicant. Would love if you click this, if it would go to uh, the the thing here or click into the view thing. 
There we go. Higher. Uh, oh my gosh, Tamisha. Yo, come on board, please. Okay. <gasps> no! Oh God, I hate that button. Oh no. I didn't even look at the others and I wanted to. Crap. Okay. Yeah. That's an annoying button. <laughs> I've done that several times now. Um, so what you can do with the zoning is if you want to zone your zookeepers, and I like this ability, I really do. You can do the heat maps and go to animal keeper and you can click the animal keeper. So we'll have Dominic do this cage and that cage and we'll have Tamisha do the bottom ones. We're going to have these uh, at those enclosures. And so that way they're kind of focused on a certain area. There's less walking around and so they can kind of just, yeah, get things done on their own terms. Let's see. Let's check on our animals here. Okay. They have one day left. Do we have anybody else that can breed? Let's see. You have, oh, oh, Okay, so here's our end of the week. This is the end of the week. And I think, uh, okay, so what we have here, and this is the shocking thing here that, that always is like, oh my God, why didn't you tell me? It's the salary payments. Again, the salary only comes at the end of the week. It is not daily. So you have to have X amount of money. I really kind of wish there was a place that was easily visible. I don't know if it's hidden somewhere in all of the things, but to say like, hey, you owe $3,000 for salary at the end of the week, because uh, there have been times where it's like uh, you increase your workforce quite a bit and you don't have enough money. It's like, oh, hey, here's instant loan. There you go. And then you're paying off this loan for ages. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to choose how you pay off your loan. It is just X amount per week. So minimum repayment per week. So you're like paying it like a traditional credit card, like over 25 years. No, it doesn't take that long, but it's, it's, it feels like that. It feels like I would like to pay more principal or whatever. Um, the utilities thing, I really want to go and get that uh, wind mine. We're going to get that probably in the next episode uh, because that will give us a positive on the utilities. Because if you generate excess electricity, you can sell it back to the city. Same thing if you buy a water tower, it will do the same. And it's uh, really nice for especially when your staff gets really big and it's like, oh, right. Because these things are also calculated at the end of the week and not daily. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for us for today. Um, because, okay, hold on, go away. Oh my God, there's a million things to do. Anyway, we're going to get to those million things in the next episode, I think. Let me know what you think. Um, cause I'm really curious what you think about our zoo and all the things and all the stuff. How do you like the trampolines? Are they cute? Oh my God, they're cute. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think. And, uh, and if you're interested in seeing more of this game, I really would like to know that. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.